It may not be the most popular sport in the U.S., but cricket is huge across yeah. the globe, and right now it is making news in New York. The biggest city in the country today losing a contentiously fought for bid to build a cricket stadium, losing it to Nassau County on Long Island, which will now host the International Cricket Council's World Cup next June. New York Mayor Adams really wanted this built in the Bronx, but there was big blowback. Sports anchor Ryan Field is here to explain is what's going on now. Ryan. Yes, there was, Bill and Sade, but this is going to be a huge deal out on Long Island next summer. Just as people in the Bronx turn their backs on the opportunity to host the men's T20 World Cup, Nassau County enthusiastically welcomed the tournament to Long Island. The world's second most popular sport, cricket, is coming to Long Island. The International Cricket Council had its eye on Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx to host the 2024 World Cup. And while New York City Mayor Adams supported the idea, other elected leaders and people who live there weren't having it. There was even a threat of lawsuits if the plan moved forward. So today, Nassau County leaders welcomed the idea with open arms. We made it clear right from the start that this is something that we wanted to do, that we were enthusiastic. Eisenhower Park will host the ICC Men's T20 World Cup, expected to hold some 34,000 people. We have been trying to get cricket here in Long Island for more than 25 years. The tournament is expected to create jobs and potentially bring in tens of millions of dollars in revenue, money that will be a boost for hotels, restaurants, and other small businesses. And we're going to make sure that this is the best uh, cricket event ever held in the world. And you get the feeling it's going to be just that. The three American sites for the tournament also include Florida and Texas. The tourney kicks off next June, and I have a feeling there may be a field trip in our future.